Today, I'm gonna to show you how to access the dark web safely. Also, keep in mind, guys, this is 100% for educational purposes only. Accessing the dark web is not illegal, but doing illegal things on the dark web is. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep it clean. Before we get into that, I just wanna let you in on something I've been working on. I just launched my community, GoldenSec HQ. If you're interested in cybersecurity, wanna get with people that are leveling up their skills just like you, or just wanna follow my content, this is the best place to be. So the link's in the description, go check it out. I'm gonna explain tales and the basics of how Tor works. So if you already know this, or you just wanna see the demo, feel free to jump ahead. I left the timestamps in the description. One of the safest ways to actually access the dark web is using this OS called Tails. Tails is a privacy focused operating system that runs just off a USB stick. You plug it in, you boot from it, and now your laptop is running a totally separate isolated system. It leaves zero trace on your computer. No logs, no files, and nothing saved. And then all traffic is automatically routed through the Tor network so everything is anonymized. This is why journalists, researchers, and cybersecurity pros use it. Now, before we boot in the tails, here's a quick overview of how Tor actually works. Tor is a privacy network that routes your traffic through several encrypted relays before it reaches a website. Each relay only knows the one before it and the one after it, so no one point can see who you are and where you're going. Most people get exposed not because of tails or Tor, but because they break their OPSEC. OPSEC stands for operational security, and all it really is is a process of protecting your sensitive data from being accessed by adversaries. All right, let's build our Tails USB. So the first thing you need to do is open your browser and go to tails.net. And then once you reach this page, just click on install Tails right here. Then scroll down a little bit, and under Windows, you'll see download Tails only for USB sticks. Click that. And then once you get to this page, just scroll down and download the ISO image right here. It says to burn a Tails DVD, download our ISO image. So just go ahead and download the ISO image. After you download your ISO image, go ahead and go to Balan Etcher. So etcher.balan.io. And then you want to download Etcher. So this is the program we're going to use to download or to flash the ISO image onto our USB stick. So go ahead and click download Etcher. So once you get Tails and Balan Etcher downloaded, go ahead and open up Balan Etcher and then get your USB flash drive and plug it into your computer. Once you get all that set up inside Balan Etcher, click flash from a file, and then you're going to want to find that um, ISO image for Tails. So here's mine. Then you wanna select your target, and then you wanna click flash. This is gonna take a while, so you might as well just pause the video and uh, wait for this to finish. All right, now that we got the USB flash with tails, go ahead and close this out. Pull out your USB. Turn it on, and then Make sure you exit so you can get to the boot menu. All right, now here I'm gonna click F12 for me so that I can enter my temporary startup device. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click SanDisk Cruiser Glide. And then we're gonna boot up in Tails. So now we're in Tails, we can go ahead and click Start Tails. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my network. All right, so now we're in Tails, we've connected to Wi-Fi, and it's asking us, do we want to connect to Tor automatically? I'm going to go ahead and click Connect to Tor automatically, and then Connect to Tor. And now this is going to make my Tor connection. Now that we're connected to Tor, the last thing we need to do to ensure our safety is go up to the right-hand corner, hit the three uh, horizontal lines, and then go to Settings. And then here we want to go to privacy and security. And then we want to scroll down and security level. Right now we're on standard. Let's change that and do safest. Save and restart. Boom. All right, so now everyone's accessed the Tor browser. From here, you're now able to access those .onion sites. And you can access normal sites too. 
it's it's a normal browser it's just connected through tor so you have that you know the level of security before you start browsing please listen to this here are a couple of quick opsec reminders don't log into any personal accounts just because you're logged in securely through tor doesn't mean when you type in your personal account that they won't be able to tell exactly who you are because you signed into your account don't download any random files this is the dark side of the internet i'm telling you this stuff you have no idea where it's coming from and it could literally be anything don't install any extensions or mess with any tour settings and please 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 i'm begging you do not use your real identity anywhere tour protects you but not if you literally tell them who you are and that's how you access the dark web securely using tails tour and some solid opsec in the next video i'm actually going to explore the dark web with you and we're going to see what's real what's fake and what you should be aware of Subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you want to level up your cybersecurity journey, join GoldenSec HQ. Links in the description. God bless. See you later.